Leaving our farm in northern Portugal is never easy, and as time has gone on, we need more and more persuading to do it. So, why on earth are we off to Italy when we only just got back from Zimbabwe? Well, the promise of new friends, ridiculous projects, and a stunning property was just too much to pass up on. And boy, was it worth it. We are now in Portugal, and sadly that is not our view. We are with our friends Raising Voyages this week. Heather, Brady, Alexa and Chloe and we're super excited to hang out and take you along for the ride. But before we do that, let's share how we got here. It is three o'clock in the morning. We are on our way to the airport. We're so excited. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. So I feel a bit daft because we were given strict instructions to bring farm boots never worn my wellies to the airport before. Certainly no fashion <laughs> statement. <laughs> People in Europe as well look so chic and I just don't feel very chic. And you're going to Italy. Honestly. Milan is like fashion capital of the world. are the newbies, a family of explorers who've taken root in northern Portugal and are currently renovating a small abandoned farm into our dream off-grid homestead. I'm Tara, born and raised in Zimbabwe with a love for wild spaces that comes from a childhood growing up on a farm in Africa. This is John, who's had a life on the road, visiting 163 of the world's 193 countries and counting. Wow. And this is our son Cuso, who loves nothing more than to help his dad on the farm. In his first year of life, he visited four continents and 24 countries and has just become a big brother. We're documenting our entire journey and each Sunday we release a new episode with exciting new projects and stories. And we would love for you to join us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and turn on those notifications so that you never miss an episode. <laughs> Thank you for helping our channel grow and for supporting our family's journey. And remember, be brave, think big, explore. Well, I can see why Brady and Heather were attracted to this part of Italy. The mountains, the old stuff, quite lovely. So this trip has been a long time coming and we have been chatting to Brady and Heather for a while and we're so excited to finally meet them in real life. It's going to be really interesting to see why Brady and Heather chose to come to Italy rather than any other country in Europe, mm -hmm. really. It is. Um, and also to compare and, and see how different it is over here in Italy than it is in Portugal. Yep, exactly. So what can you expect from this episode? Well, we have a very exciting project which we're all going to work on together. I'm not going to tell you too much about it because, I mean, where's the fun in that? And let us know if you already follow Heather and Brady's story um, or if this is new to you. We would love to hear. Absolutely. And if you're not already following um, Heather, Brady, Raising Voyages, then um, click on the links below. We've, uh, we've linked to their channel. And if you're new here because you've come on over from Raising Voyages channel, a very warm welcome. Thanks for joining us. And please don't forget to hit that all important subscribe button. All right. I feel like we're getting closer. This is so cool. So good to see you, man. Hi. 
I'm gonna stop filming when we do hugs and things. <laughs> If you haven't met them before, this is the Raising Voyagers family. Heather, Brady, Alexa and Chloe. A family living out their dream in the foothills of the Italian Alps, renovating an old stone house into a place to call home. We've lived almost parallel lives, starting our YouTube journeys as travel channels and trying our hands at van life, before finally settling into creating an alternative life with our children here in Europe. Good morning, everybody. Look at that behind me. That is a proper mountain with snow on the top. It has been the most beautiful start to the day and we've just made it up to the stone house to get started with some work. Well, yeah, Brady's got some projects for us to get involved mm -hmm. with. One of the projects involves this view. Swimming. And very cold water. <laughs> so... We'll tell you a little bit more about that, or you'll find out more about that as we go along because we're going to be building it, aren't we? Yeah, we are indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Also, I think, first of all, there's a more mundane job. I think we've got to put some fence posts in the ground. Yeah, Brady has threatened to put us to work so that we actually get some actual projects done, which come, is fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we come, we come all the way across Europe. We're going to put some fence posts in. To put fence posts in. But first things first, let's go and have a look around and we'll show you this incredible property because if you're not familiar with it, it is truly something quite remarkable. Yeah, another renovation project similar to our own, just different. But I don't think it's up to us to show you around. Let's go say good morning to Heather and Brady and the girls and they can show you around. The best news is, I think Brady might be just about to make us a cup of coffee. First off, let me just say that, like, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with oh, us. Like, thank you guys for having us. So it's it's this we were just talking about this this uncanny thing where mm -hmm. like we were watching each other's videos, thinking while wow, we're living like parallel lives, yeah. not like currently, but like the last several years, yeah, yeah. and then we get together and hanging out last night, we realize these the silliest little things <laughs> that we are like the identical people. <laughs> And I don't, it's just been, it's been good for the soul to yeah. hang out and, has, and yeah. been like been refilling so our cool. cup, which yeah. has been really lovely. 100%, so. same for us. Cause yeah. you guys, you guys did a lot of traveling before you bought this place. Yes. Yeah. So we traveled for almost two years. We did a stint in the van, just like you guys. And yeah. then we decided to settle down in Europe as well, which has been lovely yeah. for us as well. Yeah. 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 Long road ahead though. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a question. I, I mean, yeah. uh, we, well, I've been wandering in and out, uh, out of your, your house here. It's hectic. Like there's so yeah. much to do. Yeah. It's it's a deep project. <laughs> we have we have a long timeline. We're trying to do the majority of the work ourselves. But I think um, I mean mornings like this when you pause and the kids are off playing and you look out at the view and you relax, you realize like the two year timeline or whatever it's gonna end up being is worth it when we get to the final product. Cause it's still currently worth it just to have a coffee here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So can we walk with coffee? Oh, yeah, of course. So these walls here, all of them were built by carving into the mountain and pulling stones out of it. So if you can just imagine a mountain goes down like this, well, what they did is they dug down terraces and then all of the stones that came out of that digging, they used to build up the retaining walls. And uh, you can see after the last six, 700 years, all of the sediment that has washed down the mountain these terraces used to, used to be almost flat. Wow. And they're now a very steep hill. 
Uh, John was just saying that if you dug down here, you'd probably have another two meters of stone walls. And that's true. Um, so we need to get an excavator or something. My dream would be that we could restore the property to, to how it was. To be how it was yeah. in, in its origin. Like, I, I think that would but be incredible. But there's so much dirt to remove that that's the, the ultimate goal. Yeah. So now we have a bit of context of where the property is and there are, I don't know, five or six more terraces heading up the side of the mountain. But I am so keen to get you guys inside this incredible house. So let's go and have a look inside, shall we? Get ready to take us around the, the house itself. It's amazing. I've ever seen. We're gonna frame it someday. Come on, buddy. Now, you wanna come and have a look at this? fireplace room this is our favorite room well my favorite room in the house and I cannot wait to get this room set up so that we can really live in here so what is what what's the plan because you've got all this land and you've got these terraces and you've got this broken old house broken that's a bit harsh <laughs> it's a beautiful home it is beautiful it will be a beautiful yeah. home so what what's the plan what, so we what have can been you prioritizing some outside stuff first just because the weather has been unseasonably amazing um and we're in the process of getting our paperwork done but we are quickly starting to rip apart the the floors to put insulation in put electricity plumbing all the things that are required by code for us to be able to live here and then start to finish it up and try to get in here as quickly as possible okay yeah and and, and about the land you're gonna uh, flatten the land out and but what are you gonna farm there or what's the we're gonna flatten the land out both to farm a little bit we won't take it back to a, a full running farm where all the terraces are being farmed like they were um but slowly we want to kind of build in nice features a playground for the kids and maybe a who knows a, an outdoor a proper outdoor kitchen we've got a temporary one now so there's a lot, a lot of things in store, but you can kind of, if you have the imagination, you can see the finished product someday with the, uh, the fire going for uh, Christmas. We actually literally roasted chestnuts open, over an open fire this past Christmas season. So there's lots of big things in store. Yeah, cool, man. Love it. I know another question that everybody watching your channel is desperate to know that you've never revealed before. Whereabouts in Italy are you guys located? Yes, yeah, so we are located in the region of Bergamo. Okay. okay, we are close to Milan, which is one of the best airports in the world for affordable travel. So we really love it here. That's very like us with Porto, because we're about 45 minutes from Porto yeah. Airport, which it's not the best for affordable travel, but it means that we can get places yes. and it's easy to get around Europe. Yes. So. so it's day two on the hill with Raising Voyages today and oh man, it's just magical to be here. There is something so peaceful and beautiful about the mountains and to have come up this morning in time for sunrise, it's really, really special. So yesterday, John and Brady started building a fence and they actually got pretty far. It's really nice to come and be a part of other people's projects and learn a bit more about what Brady and Heather envisage here and also just lend a helping hand because we know in Portugal how difficult it is sometimes being parents and running the YouTube channel and kind of filming and editing and doing all of this stuff at the same time and to be able to connect with like-minded families going through exactly the same journey as us is honestly balm for the soul and we've just had the best couple of days. They say it takes a village and when you start expanding your village with new people, oh, I just love it. So anyway, today we're really hoping that we're going to be able to get stuck into the project that we've really got excited about, which is, call us crazy, 
to build an infinity pool on the side of this mountain. I mean, of course it was going to be crazy. It's John and Brady coming up with ideas. Nothing was going to be normal. He is yes. the cook right now. He's, uh... We had plans for Heather to be the cook this morning, but we forgot the mixing bowl for pancakes. That's awful uh, convenient for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pancakes is her recipe, the potatoes are mine, so she conveniently forgot the one thing she needed. Uh-huh. <laughs> we know um, how you work, Heather. <laughs> view and the sunrise i'm not complaining no exactly this morning we've been building a monkey bars um and it's been really great fun the project's turned out very well i'm um, nice and solid and the girls seem to be really enjoying playing on it now it's the turn of the infinity pool which we're about to start doing right now okay brady time for an infinity pool it is isn't it i'm thinking we will plop it right here we've got a little concrete pad and then we'll have a lovely view for a pool okay Smash this thing out. two of the four of us are not entirely convinced that we're getting in no 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 if we build a pool you have to get in the pool no. i don't know that we have to do anything though do we i mean yes it's january but... <laughs> in on. the italian alps in the italian alps come on so brady's got this um Wood that's for floors, I think. It's got like a tongue and groove, right? Yeah, it's got a tongue and groove on it. So that's going to be great. And I think if we make it, sorry, Alexa. If we make it two meters long, the back like this, mm -hmm. and we sort of build it up from the front, we're going to have this fantastic infinity pool. All going to be able to get in it. Sort of sit down here, you know, look at the view, or hang on, darling, I'm imagining you like this, sort of leaning over the edge. Like that. <laughs> Do you know? know what, love? All of that looks so idyllic if it was about 35 degrees. What do you think, Crusoe? But the thing is, it's about 10 degrees. Crusoe, do you think it's a good idea? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> the boy said it. Let's build it, buddy. So for the corner bits, we've got these pieces of wood here. And I think we're going to stick those like that. What do you see, Crusoe? Goat. A goat? There's a goat. There's a goat, Crusoe. Wow. There's a goat. Yeah. Is he eating, buddy? Yeah. Buddy, are you going to go and see the goat? Of course we have to pause the project to go and say hello to a goat. Who can make a goat sound? There we go. Very good. Well done, goat. <laughs> All right, I think the goat is full up. What do you think, Crusoe? Yeah. Yep. Should we go and build an infinity pool? Yeah. You say bye, goat. Alright, let's do it. Right, so out. what's the plan? Oh, buddy. I think I have the best job. <laughs> Looking after Sawyer. What do you think it's going to look like? How is it going to work? I I always support Brady in all of his crazy ideas, and I never can picture how it's going to work until it's actually done and it works. So okay. that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you going to get in it later? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, you are. Of course he is. I think we should turn it into a hot tub. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. A hot tub is what would be really nice, Chloe. You're on to something now. Good job. I think 
something like that. Okay, Brady, how much did you pay for this place? I think answering financial questions are always a little awkward because it's like when I give an answer, someone who expects less is going to judge me and someone who expects more is probably going to judge me. So we've avoided answering these questions for that and other reasons. But uh, we paid 120,000 euros for this property. Okay. Which is... Um, to me a lot like it, it was way more than we wanted to spend we initially were looking in the fifty thousand dollar range um but we fell in love with this property and the reason it is so expensive is because of the amount the sheer amount of land how large the house is and we have about 12 terraces that are approximately 700 years old which are in my mind priceless so in the end it was definitely a stretch for us but we knew we just wanted to pursue the ultimate dream eyes of this infinity i can't wait So the problem with putting two guys who are basically small children in adult bodies together and having this much fun is that we kind of bounce crazy ideas off each other and it's now morphed into not just an infinity pool but to potentially an ice bath infinity pool because I know where we can find some ice, a large amount of ice here in Italy which is hard to come by and I think we should have some level of competition of who can stay in the ice infinity pool the longest in the middle of January in the mountains. Brady, where is that handsaw? Handsaw? No. <laughs> Chainsaw. Hey, let's uh, let's race. Oh. Let's race. <laughs> There's a competition. Another competition. Really, guys? I need all all children out. Okay. Wait, you gotta you gotta wait till I get started. <laughs> I'm taken to go to the garage and pick up the gas load. <laughs> we're just um, we're just saying how we're probably going to come back in the summer, all sweating and be building a hot tub then, and you're all going to be watching us thinking, you guys are barking mad. <laughs> For anyone thinking that we should be working on the house, we should. Yeah. We should, <laughs> but this is way more fun. <laughs> when Brady and Heather first invited us to come and hang out with them over here in Italy, we knew that Brady actually had a job which included digging one meter down inside his house. I did say very briefly, but very quietly, we could help you um, dig the... Anyway, thankfully, this is a lot more fun. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really fun. Yeah, I'm really pleased. It's not going to be fun getting in it, but this bit's really fun.
sat down and he looks at me and he, he points and he goes, sit. <laughs> I think that means you're officially friends. Yay. Okay, so I think that's the end of the day today, isn't it? Yeah, well, we've had a busy day. We've built monkey bars. Mm -hmm. We've built, almost built an infinity pool. Yep. So the plan now is to head back to the apartment that we're staying in, where we are going to just relax for the afternoon and gear up for the big moment of the alpine plant tomorrow morning. We've decided we're all going to get in the pool over coffee. <laughs> uh, this is when you want one of those like espressos, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, one of those really, really small coffees. Yeah. Like shots. Yeah, yeah, quickly so that... No, I'm not saying that until I'm finished my coffee, surely. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. See you tomorrow. Come on, Crusoe, let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, water. <laughs> Bye, goat. Will we see you tomorrow, Crusoe? Okay. How are you feeling, darling? Terrified, confused. <laughs> so how are you feeling, Brady? I'm trying not to feel. I think that's the that's the trick. You can't think about it. You can't like prepare yourself at all. You just have to block it out, step in, and just sit there. Five minutes, you're gonna be in freezing cold water. I'm nervous. I'm trying not to think about it. I know I can do it. But do I really want to? That's the question. <laughs> I'm feeling amazing. I have got this. This is going to be no problem. I've done it before several times. I've got a feeling though, it's going to be down to Brady and me. And I'm not sure whether the girls are going to get in. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. But here's the thing, if you want to watch us get in the ice bath, you're going to have to tune into Raising Voyages episode over on their channel. Links in the description. Do you think we're going to do it? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you there. <laughs>